Hi, I'm Larry Kortkamp, and this is BizPoints TV, the show that introduces you to new and trending business topics, smart technology, and the people that impact our small business communities. We've got a great show for you today. We'll be back in a minute to get it started. Create a stronger and more dynamic business. Larry Kortkamp, founding partner at the Kortkamp Group, talks with industry insiders about trending topics moving the needle, or not, for local business today. Here's your host, Larry Kortkamp. Hi, welcome back. Like I said, we have a great show for you today. Our guest is Brett Kortkamp, and if that last name sounds familiar, it should. He's my nephew, but he's also a managing partner in National One Energy. They're based right here in North Texas, and they save people money every single day. Brett, welcome to the show. Hi, Larry. Thanks for having me today. So how can we save money with National One Energy? Well, every business has certain costs that they have to cover. Their lease payments, their staff, their staffing, and other expenses. One of the biggest ones of which is electricity. We are a specialist independent advisory firm that helps companies save money by reducing their per kilowatt hour cost of their electricity. Okay, so as a business consultant, one of the first things that I always love doing is going in and grabbing a few essential things from a business. I like getting their phone bill and I love getting their electric bill because every business overpays on their electricity. They have no idea how much money they can save by just going to the right people to get their electricity purchased. You're exactly right. Uh, at this point, deregulation has been in Texas for about 18 years. Uh, deregulation is just a fancy word for choice. We as consumers in Texas have a choice about which provider we can use, but really the provider is actually just the billing company. It's who's sending you the invoice. And they're adding a little bit of a margin on that, depending on who they are and what they're trying to sell. Uh, we help to reduce that margin cost and get you a wholesale price rather than a retail price. I think that's important. And before we get into too much of the, the, the weeds and the, and the details that might get a little tedious here, the, the main takeaway right off in the beginning is how you save money is typically people are buying retail when they should be buying wholesale specifically for their their uh, uh, their electricity that they use in their business life as opposed to a residential. Correct. Yeah, commercial electricity is a lot different than residential. So how this all happens is because of something called deregulation. Maybe we should spend a few minutes on what is deregulation. Like I said, it's kind of just a fancy word for choice. Uh, in 2002, Texans voted to deregulate our market. And what that was is to pull apart the, the key component pieces of the industry. There are really three main parts. There's the generation of power. That's the factory where they build electricity. That's where you see the smokestacks out in the, in the boonies. Then there's the transmission part. That's the poles, the wires, and the meters. And then lastly, there's the customer service and billing portion. What we've done in, with deregulation is keep the generation part the same, the de delivery, transmission, poles, wires, and meters all the same. And really what we've done is just on this end, provided consumers an option to choose different retail provider to send them their bill and provide their customer service. So if our power goes out, we're not calling the person that literally is sending us the bill. We're still calling, in our case in North Texas, we're calling Encore. Correct. Encore owns or regulates the power through the, the uh, poles and the wires. Correct, way. yeah, Texas actually has one set of poles and wires and meters that we all share. Because electricity is so important uh, of a uh, service, we can't have a difference in delivery quality. It's not like cell phones where maybe you have AT&T with their own networks or um, with cell or uh, cable TV where you've got a dish on your house or high fiber cable coming in, all the different delivery infrastructure. In Texas, electricity, there's only one set of poles and wires and meters we all share so that we all get the same level of service. Those poles and wires and meters were divided into five regions. The North Texas region is served by the company called Encore and they're the ones who take care of all that for us. So would I be correct in saying that National One, National One, they're not representing necessarily the person that is either providing the electricity, but they're actually representing the customer. They're representing the small business or the business that's using the electricity. Absolutely, yeah, we are the customer's advocate. Uh, our position in the market is that we work for a customer to align them with the correct retailer for their business. When you're talking about retail electricity, you're talking about any kind of other retail industry. Uh, you can go to Saks Fifth Avenue and spend $200 for a pair of shoes and you get a nice bag and you know the salesperson helps you out and you come out feeling like you had a good retail experience. You could buy that same pair of shoes though, maybe at Foot Locker. Uh, different retail experience for you as a customer. Same product being delivered, different price. 
You could also go to Amazon and buy those shoes. Never have any kind of, in, uh, of interaction at all with human beings uh, and pay a different price. Uh, for electricity, it's the same concepts. All those retail electricity providers you know, Green Mountain Energy, TXU, Direct Energy, Champion, Hudson, Ciro, Constellation, you know, all those names you hear. There's about 142 of them, by the way, in Texas. Uh, those are all retail companies who are simply looking for a target customer demographic. And they're willing to charge different rates based on who those customers are. Okay, which brings us to that point. Again, in my consultant life, we talk to businesses because their electricity usage is different. How a restaurant might use business might be different than an office building. And what people don't understand is the complexity on how commercial electricity can be utilized and be billed. So one thing that I like about your company is that you help people negotiate not only that part of the contract, but understand their own usage and how they could better Absolutely. improve their position. Absolutely. That's exactly where we add value. Uh, that's where we really come in because we will custom price and, and build a contract around your business requirements, not around the supplier's preferred way of doing things. Uh, we go and do a custom price based on your energy usage profile. And as you said, different businesses use energy in different ways. Are you a 24 hour a day, seven day a week business? Are you a Monday through Friday, nine to five business? Uh, are you a restaurant who's opening at noon and staying open till 2 a.m.? Each of those different energy profiles translate into ways that you can save money by getting a specific energy plan that's designed around how you use it rather than just a generalist uh, sense when you call 1-800-RELIANT or 1-800-TXU. And I know on, on, on a consumer bill, you know, at your house, you have just a few breakdowns. They might give you a, a price break for so many kilowatt hours, but it's similar in the commercial world as well, where their usage is considerably higher. Correct. So I'm, I'm, I'd like people to know that there are different levels of usage where there are substantial savings depending on how much power you use. Absolutely. And, and in our business, we can, we can help any commercial business owner regardless of the size of their company. If you're paying $100 for your electricity per month or you're paying a million dollars, we're able to help you get a better price based on who you are. Uh, but you're absolutely right about the difference in the usage levels from a consumer or commercial business versus a residential. Uh, business uses by far more electricity. 85% of the electricity in the grid for Texas is used on commercial. Uh, we're here to help those 85% reduce their costs as much as possible. Again, we're, we're helping you access wholesale rates rather than retail rates by getting a custom design plan specific to your business profile. You know, people are always amazed when I talk to them and say how much of a savings they can, they can really achieve just through one particular aspect of their business. And electricity is one that we just underestimate so much. And, and really it's tough to, to get them to understand really the, the savings amount. We're not talking in, in many cases a couple of dollars. Right. Literally, depending on how much that you use, it can be cost savings of several hundred to several thousand to tens of thousands based on the customers that you're, that you're talking about. Absolutely, uh, one of our customers is Sundance Square, downtown Fort Worth. Uh, we were able to save them $16 million on their electricity bills. Uh, we have also a uh, nail salon that we helped last week. Uh, and the young lady there who ran that saved herself $500. But for her, that was a significant amount of money overall and allowed her to keep her rent and keep her space open. Well, not only that, but, but we also counsel small business on other technology that they should be taking advantage of. Maybe they should have uh, someone to help them with their internet technology or some other, another, another facet of their business they need to improve, and cash flow is, is always tight. So one thing that electricity savings does, it's free money for them. It's found money. So if you can save the young lady $500 a month, Think what $500 a month can do for her on other things in her business to help her out. Absolutely. And, and again, one thing that I haven't really touched on is that our services are free. Uh, what we're providing to customers is a free analysis of your electricity bill. All we need is a copy of that bill for us to get the pertinent information about your existing contract, how much you're paying now, what your service locations are, who your supplier is. We can often renegotiate your current contract with your current supplier and give you an immediate savings on staying with exactly who you're with now. We'll be back in just a minute. We'll talk again with Brett Kortkamp from National One Energy. At WorkSuites, get back to work your way. Business addresses, co-working, executive office suites, 
We really thrive on helping small businesses expand their horizons from simply working out of their home. What's really nice is we're flexible with our terms. We don't require you to sign a lease with us, go month to month or stay a couple years. You may only need a part-time space. You'll have a full kitchen, cover garage access. This is the ideal way to work through the transition in your business and get you up to speed quickly. Private offices have dedicated Wi-Fi, furniture, 24 seven access. Call 888-445-9675 and check us out at worksuites.com to schedule your tour. You're gonna love it here. 888-445-9675. Hi, welcome back. We've been talking with Brett Kortkamp at National One Energy. Brett, before the break, we were talking about free. And uh, I know it's a touchy subject with a lot of people. It really isn't free, but your service is no charge to the customer. Correct. You know, a lot of people ask us all the time, why should we use you? Aren't you a middleman? And that's a valid question. Uh, our response is that we are actually your guide through this industry to find the right retailer that matches your business. We do get paid a fee, but it's the same fee regardless of which supplier you choose. We don't have a dog in the hunt, to use the term. Uh, We want to find the customer contract that's going to suit your business best. There's no obligation or no risk on your part, and you'll never receive an invoice from us for any services or fees. Uh, We get paid by the supplier an equal amount no matter which supplier you choose. And that's built into the rate you're paying. So if you're happy with the rate and it's better than you're paying now, why not go ahead with it? Are there industries that you help that are... are, uh more surprised by the savings? Is it, is it a, a manufacturing plant where their usage is very different? Or is it a hotel? Or is it, a, is it maybe someone who owns multiple franchises and they didn't understand that they could consolidate those and use one centralized power? Absolutely, yeah, for sure. You know, as I said, we're specialists on that per kilowatt hour rate you're paying. But we're also able to create contracts and build them to suit your business. If you have multiple locations with different suppliers, we're able to help you consolidate those maximize your buying power, get you one contract for all of them, same rate, same end date, so it makes it easy to remember next time you come around. Uh, We can throw in things like add and delete language, where there's a provision so you can get the same rate, whether you open a new location or if you have to close one during the contract term. Uh, We're able to get you green power. If you're interested in 100% green or 50% renewable resources, we have suppliers that will allow you to do that and build that into the rate again, at a steep discount to what they're charging for that in the open market. Green, that's a good subject for us. Everybody wants to go green today. But green, when we talk about electricity, is kind of unique, right? Mm. I don't have my, my electricity's not hooked up to some windmill out there, right? It's right. How, how does green work in the electric world? Sure, a lot of people are worried about that. You know, if it stops blowing in Odessa, am I not gonna have power? That's not how it works. Uh, again, when we talk about the three parts of the market, generation, transmission, and the retail, end of it. Those generators are the ones that are actually responsible for that green element. When you buy a green product from the retailer, they are promising that that generator will put an equal amount of that amount of power generated by a renewable source into the grid. Okay, the grid. Grid is unique. Uh, in Texas, uh, right, yeah. we have our own power grid. We we see a lot of, uh, sometimes you'll see in the news, the Eastern Seaboard has a blackout and seven states will go dark. In Texas, that's because they share a grid, but in Texas, we actually are our own grid. Everything is self-contained. Correct, we're uh, ready to secede at any time. (laughs) The Republic stand. Uh, uh, Texas uh, is known as the energy capital of the United States. A lot of people know it for oil and natural gas. What they don't know is we're also a net exporter of electricity. We take care of all of our electricity needs here in Texas and sell to other states. As you said, uh, we're not reliant on others. Uh, we take care of ourselves. And you said oil and gas, but that's not necessarily how we produce. We're actually making a lot of ground on those green productions, 100%, aren't we? Yeah, no, for sure. Uh, massive strides. Anybody who's driven out I-20 lately through Sweetwater can see that they're putting up more and more of those windmills every day. Uh, our solar element is coming on strong. Uh, Texas is very proud to have been shut, able to shut down nine coal-fired power plants in the last few years and replace that production with clean burning uh, renewable energy. We are moving towards 35% of our energy being produced by renewable resources by 2027. Uh, If there was a misconception of of your general client about electricity, 
What would you say is the biggest uh, misconception that you run into? Uh, you know the old saying, only certainty in life is death and taxes. Really, it's death, taxes, and your light bill. Uh, you're going to be getting one of those every single month for the rest of your life. And it's the complacency that really creeps in most for business owners. You get used to having one supplier, you're setting it up for one payment, you get it every month, you open the invoice, and no matter what's on the top of that bill, what do you do? You flip to the part that says, how much is it and when's it due? And you write that check or you make that payment online. What we do is make sh sure those business owners stop for a moment to see what it is on top of those pages. What is the number there that I'm being charged? How long am I being charged for? What are the other additional line item costs that I don't know that I'm paying for? Uh, our job is to help business owners recognize that there really is a significant savings if you take a moment to look at this. And we can set a fixed cost uh, for a set period of time where you can use those monies for other things. Uh, we help several cities in Texas at the moment uh, with their supplies and we've been able to build new parks and refurbish downtown uh, you know, historical buildings using the money that they've saved on their electricity bill. You know, we, in, in, in business, we always talk about uh, fixed expenses, and that's one thing that I've, I've always tried to get people to understand. F fixed expenses are not as fixed as they used to be, and, and electricity mm -hmm. is not a fixed expense. So those when you said complacency before, that's what I like to talk to them about. That's, that, that is not a fixed expense. You might have to pay an electric bill every month, but what you pay can vary dramatically based on your decisions. Absolutely, and, and you never want to be one of those, uh, what I call contract phobes, uh, where you don't want to lock yourself in because you're worried, will my business be there for 12 months or 24 months or 36? Actually, I think they worry more about the delivery. You know, they worry about, you know, I've heard people with X company, you know, when, when the storm comes in, they always lose their power. You know, I think the biggest misnomer to me is they really do think that the person they're getting the bill from is who's the one supplying their power and also who the one is that they're going to call if something goes wrong. Common misconception for sure. Uh, it happens quite a bit. Uh, it really is the same poles and wires and meters for everybody as we spoke about before. If there is a power outage, it's going to be based on the delivery company, Encore for us in North Texas. Uh, and they're going to restore power as quickly as possible to everyone there is no uh, ability to say, well, we're only going to do TXU's customers first, and we're only going to do Green Mountain there. It's, it's every line they can as fast as they can. And I can tell you, for those who are interested, the ones that come on first are the ones connected to critical load, meaning hospitals, police stations, fire stations. If there is an outage, those lines are the ones that get prioritized. And if your house happens or business happens between on that line, that's why your power came on faster than your neighbor. Okay, Brett, we've talked about a lot of things, but I really want to go back a little bit and talk about National One some more, why and, and how you help somebody. So can you kind of walk us through the process? Absolutely. Thanks, Larry. Yeah, our, our business is very simple. We need a copy of your light bill. Send us a full copy of your electricity bill and we can provide you a free analysis, uh, usually within 24 hours, and come back to you with bids from up to 10 suppliers. It's really a straightforward process. Uh, what we do is we will get your information from your bill, we pull the electrical, the last 12 months history from your electricity meter. That shows us that profile we were talking about before. We then send that not to the sales arms of all these retailers. We go directly to the pricing desk, the guys who are buying that electricity from generators in real time. They look at your profile. They put it up to with their current um, energy supply. And because energy and electricity is a use it or lose it proposition, these suppliers have bought this power and need to sell it. They would rather sell it for something than give it away for nothing by not using it. So they're often willing to give significant discounts to customers who fit in to where their needs are. And those needs change daily. Um, it's our goal to be able to turn you around within a, one day, be able to provide a minimum of 10% savings. Uh, this year alone, we're averaging at about 27.5% savings for customers on their bills for the 3,000 customers we've signed this year so far. Very good. And we talk about uh, uh, one thing in the residential world, we're always worried about contract that we're on. How can you help me if I'm, if I'm currently involved in a contract? Are there things that we can do or can't do within that contract? Absolutely. Uh, every contract language and you know, every supplier is different, uh, but there's always flexibility. We certainly aren't going to get you in a position where you're getting a cancellation penalty. Again, that's why we want a copy of your bill to verify all that information beforehand. But we are able to get you a contract that starts three years from now or four years from now or next week uh, and tie in today's rates for the future. We can also go out as far as 10 years from today on a contract term length. 
So if you're looking to lock in a low rate, now is definitely the time. Uh, if you're on a month to month contract, you're paying probably 12 and a half to 15 cents right now. A good, a well-structured contract, you should be able to pay somewhere in the high threes to mid fours. I mean, that's a huge savings. And I think of any of the misconceptions I've heard about, it's that. We all have people that we know. No, I'm not going to sign that contract. I don't want to be locked into this thing for three years. They fail to see how much more money that they're paying on these month to month. And a lot of them are these franchises. They might, they might have uh, two to three different locations. I can't afford to lock in because what if I change a location or if I move around? They don't realize the flexibility that you can provide them in those situations. Correct. Uh, and the supplier isn't going to come out and tell you that. Uh, and their boilerplate contract is always going to be skewed in their favor. What we do is make sure that we structure a contract that has provisions within it that allows that flexibility that you might need. If you've got 20 locations and you're worried about having a six year contract because your lease is only three, we get a release uh, clause put into your contract for you so that you can get out of it for no penalty. Uh, those things are, are not advertised by the suppliers, uh, but we have that access and we know how to make that work for you. It also happens, it also helps to have someone like you because you manage these bills from then on. You're actually a part of this customer's electricity world from the moment they sign a contract. And, and if something changes out there that might better their situation, you're certainly gonna let them know about that, right? 100%, yeah, it's ongoing contract management and we'll notify you if we see another savings opportunity arise during your agreement. Uh, we're passionate about helping people save money. One of the things I like most about my job is I'm not reaching into somebody's pocket and asking them to give me something. You're already buying this product anyway. What I'm trying my hardest to do and my whole team does is try to put all, as much money back in your pocket as we can. So, Brett, I want to do it. How can we get in touch with you? Great. It's a very simple process to get in touch with me. We're at nationalonenergy.com. That's national numeral one energy.com. My name is Brett. You can reach me at my direct line, 972-755-3735. If you mention promo code BizPointTV. BizPointsTV. We'll give you a 10% discount guaranteed. Uh, we'll return that in 24 hours. I look forward to hearing from you. I think that's the way we're going to end today because it's the, it's the truest statement that we've made. You're already spending this money. Why would you want to spend any more than you absolutely have to? We've been talking today with Brett Courtcamp, managing partner of National One Energy. They can save you money. Give them a call. Thanks for joining us today and hope you look for us for the next episode. You've been enjoying Biz Points with Larry Courtcamp. Brought to you by the Court Camp Group. To be a guest or request sponsorship information, contact the Court Camp Group at 972-824-8002 today. Production and programming information requests for the OBBM network should be directed to Offbeat Business Media by calling 214-714-0495 or send your request to info at offbeatbusiness.com. BizPoints TV, podcast, and radio show are produced by Offbeat Business Media for the OBBM network. Unauthorized use of logos, audio, video, or reproduction is strictly prohibited.